what I'm passionate about is how we as philanthropists can move from charity and generosity to justice and dignity. It demands of us that we interrogate the systems that produce advantage for some and disadvantage for others. Darren distinguished himself as a very gifted lawyer early in his career around issues of finance, but he found his voice and he found his passion in philanthropy. He early on told me, you could give away all the money in an afternoon and good would be done, but the way to give it away artfully, the way to think about the maximum impact, that is the art, that is the craft, that is the thing that is very hard to do well. To be able to understand that there has to be a new gospel of wealth and how philanthropic foundations allocate funds. Really looking at investments differently. Does it always have to be just a return on the dollar or a return on your mission? That debate is now brought forth because of Darren Walker. I think he uniquely understood that leveraging the extraordinary resources that are available in the philanthropic community with his skills as a lawyer could only strengthen his ability to address some of these very critical areas. He's brought another kind of energy, not just to Ford, but to the whole foundation world. His vision of the Ford Foundation is to eliminate inequality, eliminate poverty, and really advancing human achievement. I met Darren Walker when he was the Chief Operating Officer of the Abyssinian Development Corp in Harlem. He is one of the people most responsible for the redevelopment and resurrection of Harlem as we know it today. Just by his demeanor, I got the impression that he knew what he was doing. He knew where he was going and had a pretty good idea about how he was going to get there. He saw the past as a living, breathing part of the day-to-day -day life in Harlem, but he also was imagining the future of Harlem. He was imagining Harlem in a way that had yet to be realized. What Darren did that was so remarkable with the Art for Justice Fund is he just very keenly identified a couple of things. His dear friend, uh, Agnes Gunn, was deeply concerned about justice issues and racial inequity within the justice system. When Aggie said she wanted to do more and wanted to think about how to turn her resources to this issue, and so famously took a painting off the wall and sold it for $150 million, and with that created the Art for Justice Fund to think about how we could uniquely build something that would turn resources that were previously on a wall to understanding how art and culture can change lives. To understand Darren in his life now, in his work now, is to understand how much his own personal story inspires him. It was really one of the first recipients to get a Head Start grant, which then led to a Pell Grant that brought him to the University of Texas. Because of his being able to get educated at one of the great universities of the world, not only in undergraduate school, but at the UT Law School, he's also recognized how important education is to eliminate inequality. We must continue to bridge the gaps of inequality in our culture, in our economy, in our discourse, and in our politics. America has always been about people choosing to bind themselves together. Think about how you can build a bridge to a better world. Congratulations, hook them hard. My real feeling about Darren Walker is not unlike my feeling about myself. Both of us have always known that we were gonna make a difference for our neighbors and for our people. And certainly Darren has done that. It is a singular privilege, uh, not only to work with Darren, but to have Darren as a friend. Darren, I'd like to congratulate you on receiving this award. Thank you for your work, for your vision, for your grace, for your humility. You are not only admired, you are not only a source of inspiration, uh, you are not only a charging visionary, but you are also beloved. Darren, you're doing great work, but it's not surprising to me because it is what I expected. 
Carry on, my friend. Carry on. Congratulations, my friend, and hook them horns. <laughs>